Welcome to Ultimate Fighting Words. Today, our challengers will battle over who is the cooler one in the band, the guitar player or the drummer. In this corner, we have Quincy. She is fighting for the guitarist and is representing all the fierce shredders out there who strum the string. Quincy is a guitar player who thinks she is way cooler than Zach, who plays the drums. I am cooler than Zach, and a broken clock keeps better time than his drumming. And in this corner, we have Zach. Zach is fighting for drummers and all the grooviest groove makers out there who sit behind the band and keep the beat. Peace and love, dude. Peace and love. Oh, yeah. Rock on. During the battle, you have three rounds to use your best words and prove to me and to the crowd who will be the ultimate fighting words champion. Round one is called Wild Word where I say the first word that pops into my head and you each get 30 seconds to convince me who should get the point. Welcome to the jungle, Zach. 30 seconds are on the clock. The wild word is song. Go! Song? Okay. Well, you don't have a song without a beat. And you don't have a beat without a drummer. The drummer lays down the musical foundations, provides the pulse, and brings the groove to the track, letting the rest of the band express themselves creatively. Without the drummer, how do you dance to your favorite song? If you're at a concert of your favorite band and everyone is dancing and the drummer gets up and leaves in the middle of the song, everything falls apart. A song dies without the drummer. You need the drummer! That's sweet. But there are a lot of songs without drums. Guitars can play rhythm and melody, not drums. Also, a lot of songs are written on guitar before adding drums other instruments. Here's another one. You can play a guitar in a room with your friends and they will know what song you're playing and they can sing along. How do you sing along to a drummer playing a drum kit by himself? Well played, Quincy. That means you take the point for Wild Word and lead one to nothing. Now let's see who can make some noise in round two, the hot potato round, where our contestants will go head to head spewing facts about guitars and drummers at lightning speed. Whoever gets caught holding the potato when the buzzer goes off loses. Why? Because it's fun and it's hot. Hot potato starts now. The electric guitar is the reason we have rock and roll and pop music. Invented in America in 1935 by Adolf Rickenbacker, the electric guitar's loud amplified sounds when played through a guitar amp played a key role in the birth of blues music, which which is responsible for rock and roll, which has influenced pop and so many other cool styles of music. And since we're talking about electricity, how do you plug in a drum set, Zach? Nice try. But have you ever heard of electric drums or a drum machine or a programming beats? Oh, it's a thing. In 1980, the Roland TR-808 was invented as the first drum machine that let you program your own rhythms and heavy bass tones and other cool futuristic sounds. This gave birth to electronic music. And since the 1980s, programmed electronic drums are used every day in pop, rock, hip-hop, and other cool music. Didn't think about that, did you? Did you know that the world record for the longest guitar solo is 24 hours and 55 minutes? It was played by guitarist David DiDonato at a club in Austin, Texas. I'd call that weird. Not cool. But you know what is cool? Being a drummer. The drummer for the band Green Day, his actual name is Trey Cool. I can't make this up, people. Playing guitar has wellness effects that make you feel happy. Studies have shown that playing guitar releases dopamine, an important chemical in the brain that is also known as the feel-good hormone. Now, playing guitar literally triggers your brain's reward centers and boosts your mood and makes you happy. <laughs> I mean, all the cool people I know seem pretty happy. Okay, hear me out. Drummers are like the king of the band, right? Have you ever noticed at a concert that the drummers usually sit on a raised platform overlooking the band? Yeah, so everybody can see them. And while we're talking about royalty, the seat that the drummer sits on is referred to in the musical world as the throne. This term dates to the 1930s. <laughs> well, you do know. Oh, time is up. Sorry, Quincy. Hmm, I guess we'll never know what she was going to say. That means round two goes to Zach. Remember him? With the score tied one to one, it's time to convince the crowd. In this final round of the game, you each get 15 seconds to say it all one last time and convince the crowd. Who deserves the final point in this battle? Zach, it's your turn. Huh. All I have to say is that drummers sit on a throne. The drummer from Green Day is named Trey Cool. Drummers lay down the musical foundation for the band. And most importantly, you don't have a beat without a drummer. How are you going to dance without a drummer? That's not cool. Oh, the suspense is killing me. I hope it will last. You have the last word, Quincy. Playing guitar has been scientifically proven to make you happy. The electric guitar is the reason we have rock and roll and pop music. And guitars play rhythm and melody. Okay, a guitarist can walk into any room, start playing, and everybody can sing along. And they will all think the guitar player is cool. And you don't need drums. Wow, that was an exciting thing. 
finished! Well said, both of you! Guitarist or drummer, who is cooler? Hmm, do we really need the drummer? But it's not up to me, it's up to the crowd to decide! Who said it best, Zach or Quincy? Let's hear it for the drummers! Let's hear it for guitar players! Looks like Quincy and guitar players get the point. And with the final score of two to one, we have been convinced guitarists are cooler than drummers! Quincy, you are the ultimate fighting words champion! Okay, you guessed it. I'm gonna go buy a guitar. Bye-bye now.